Hey guys, so I am at Ulta. I told myself I was just coming for one thing, but of course my cart is all full. Here is my outfit. I'm just wearing my favorite, favorite Lululemon joggers. I have a Fabletics workout sweatshirt on and then puffer from Target, Gucci bag, like always. I went to Ulta and got not one, but two bags full of goodies. Let me tell you. So I went to Ulta, let me find it. Oh my God, did I not even get the thing I went for? Oh, nope, I did, okay. I went to Ulta for the Loving Tan Self Tanner, but this is the first time I've ever bought Self Tanner. I'm very nervous about it. I have mixed feelings about it. I asked a couple friends who self tan a lot and they all said that Loving Tan was the best as long as like reviews that I've read. So I'm excited to try this. I got the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse, but I'm also really nervous, so pray for me. I have never been one to like tan or anything like that because I am, you know, black, but during the winter time, I get so fucking frosty as you can see that I'm just, I don't recognize myself and I'm, you know, I'm all about feeling confident and comfortable in, you know, your body and your looks and all that. But also it's like, I just feel more comfortable and more confident when I do have a little tan going on and I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I know a lot of people see things wrong with that and like, oh, love yourself and oh, blah, 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 blah. But it's not that deep. Okay, next, let's move to hair. Cause you know we love hair. Oh, I have read, I waited for this line to come out for so long and I've read so many mixed reviews on it. Some people thought it was a game changer. Some people were like, really girl? But I just had to, you know, find out for myself. So yes, I got the Tracy Ellis pattern, some things from her line. One, the way that this packaging feels is so just like sexy and it's like, oh, I love that. But I got two minis. One, I got the mini leave-in because honestly they didn't have the big leave-in, but I'm most excited to try this. And then I got a little shampoo just because if I don't like it, like what am I gonna do with a big shampoo? Of course I did get a big conditioner because the little shampoo, I'm not sure the consistency, I'm not gonna sure how much I need, but I was like, this will do one wash. No thanks, so I did get the big one. I'm really excited to try this, maybe in, not tomorrow, because I just washed my hair, but maybe a couple days, we will try the line out together. <laughs> Next, and this was like different for me. Um, Things I like normally would never, like i don't know it was just super random but this line called moon first of all marketing is so big for me like i'm such like the ideal consumer when it comes to like products and packaging and all that stuff and this was just so sexy and sleek on the little display so it's a company called moon and this i'm assuming they're like um dental hygiene company but um, it's the and it's funny because Kendall Jenner was on it, and I was like, kind of random, but also like good for you. It's the Moon Soft Bristle Toothbrush, and honestly, I just love. Hello, I love how this looks. It's just so freaking cute and sleek and black, and you know, you always need a toothbrush. So like, really, did I do anything wrong by buying it? Probably not. Then. I got the whitening activated charcoal toothpaste, which is fluoride free, appreciate that. Cleans and refreshes breath with Elixir X blend to support a healthy looking smile. Honestly, I feel like my teeth have been like getting a little bit, uh, I hate to say it, but a little like yellowy brown. I don't know. What do you guys think? My teeth are just so big, like they make up such a big part of my face and I feel like my teeth haven't been as white as normal, probably because I fucking live off of 20,000 coffees a day. 
but girl i need some white teeth so i'll let you guys know about this hopefully it is amazing then i got the mario badescu facial spray with aloe chamomile and lavender i have this in like the one that everybody has the red one i like it i don't think it's like i don't know with sprays and stuff i'm like they, they i don't know what they do but they just make me feel like I've completed a look or like I just end my skincare routine. Like after I put all my products on and I put a spray on, I'm like, okay, it's done. It's finished. Finished. This is like the finale and I, I have to have it. When I, I don't know what it does, but when I don't have it in my routine, I'm like, did I even do my skincare routine? <sighs> then also on skincare, I got the Ordinary, Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. I just needed a cleanser. Ordinary, super affordable. Apparently they are top of the line formulas just in more affordable packaging. So I'm excited for this. Squalane Base Face Cleanser and Makeup Remover. Come through Ordinary. Now moving on to makeup. I got the Morphe and Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist. Yeah, I got this. I'm excited. It smells really good. Okay. Mm. Tee -hee. Then I got the Shape Tape Concealer. Y'all know about this Shape Tape. You know about this Shape Tape. Um, regularly, it's $27. I got it for $19. I didn't need a concealer, but hello. You know how I feel about a deal. Then I got the ColourPop Super Shock cheek because i needed a blush all my blushes are cream blushes so i just needed one i didn't want to like drop a zillion bands on it because i dropped a zillion bands on something else which will be the last products i show you then and this was a shock for me i got the kkw cream lipstick so she has like a whole nude line one i thought the packaging was really cute i like that it's clear and i think it's gonna look really cute like with my other stuff and then it's this like beautiful, beautiful like brown color. I'll swatch it for you. Hi. I think it's really, really cute. And I feel like this is something that I would wear every day. And the, I tried a little bit on in the store. The formula was so creamy and nice. And I'm really excited about it. Whenever I find like a good lip line or really good line of anything, I buy li literally everything from the line. So if this lipstick is bomb, a bitch will be back to get the rest of the lipsticks. Okay. These are the last two products I bought. These are the products that made up most of my total. I think together, these are exactly $250. Oopsies, poopsies. But just to preface this and disclaim this, I always try to find dupes and I always, you know, try to go for the more affordable option. And it just never works for me. Like, for example, I've always wanted a designer handbag. I kept buying all of these bags to like be a placeholder for the designer bag i actually wanted and if you look at all the bags that i brought bought to replace the bag i actually wanted i literally could have bought the bag you know what i mean same with skincare i will always get like drugstore skincare products not saying that there aren't some amazing drugstore skincare products but i buy them and i buy them and i buy them and i'm still thinking about that one luxury one i bought and then the total of all the ones that i bought to replace it surpass the one that i wanted so now you know if i want it i got it okay so i got the good jeans all in one lactic acid treatment i was using this for a while about like a year ago maybe two years ago it transformed my skin it was absolutely amazing totally worth the price point do i think it's a really high price absolutely do i think it works absolutely I have bought a lot of skincare products, a lot of products that claim to do things they do not do. But this, this right here, she's a game changer. Come on, good jeans. Yeah, it's, it's honestly amazing. So I was using it for a while. My skin had the most amazing glowy complexion. Like all of my scarring had gone away. Like the stuff that this shit claims is insane, but it actually 
does it my complexion was even it was incredible and then i stopped using it because i was like wow i've been healed like god is good and then a year later i'm having really bad breakouts on my chin which i know are hormonal and it's like what's going on in the inside but also because of those breakouts i have a lot of acne scars on my chin which they're just not welcome here then I couldn't just stop at one product from Sunday Riley. If you've been victimized by Sunday Riley, raise your hand. Anyways, I got the retinol, oh, that's not the name. Sleeping Night Oil. Next generation retinoid oil reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the signs of premature aging and redness. Yes, please, sign me up, bitch. I'm excited for this. It's very interesting because this shit is so expensive, they put this thing on the back of it. That's how you know it's expensive when they got a thick ass label. I'm excited to use this and this. They say to use this like once a week. I'm gonna use it every day, cause that's just how I am. Anyways, guys, that was my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I love doing these hauls for you. I love spending my money. And I will let you know about them, especially my girl Tracy. I'll let you know about the tan. Guys, if I'm on this next vlog looking all blotchy, you know what happened and just mind your business, okay? Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. I love every single one of you and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.